Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.1, number 61. And here we were asked to find the 10th term of a sequence. So I, it's a recursive sequence. And why I know it's recursive is I can see my starting point right here. And that always happens in a recursive sequence. And then a sub n, that's your current term. And it's defined in terms of a sub n minus 1, which is your previous term. And whenever your current term is defined in terms of your previous term, we call that a recursive relationship, a recursive, or I could say sequence since that's what we're really looking at. But the re means we're going backwards. So here's my starting point, a sub 1. Great. Let's find a sub 2. We've, we've got to get up to the 10th term, so it's going to take us a moment. So a sub 2, all right, what that's saying is, I am plugging in n being 2. So if n is 2 here, I'm going to put the 2 there. Oh, and I'm also going to put the 2 there. So this would then turn into 2 times a sub 2 minus 1. And that would be 2 times a sub 1. But keep in mind, we knew a sub 1, right? We were given it. We had to have a starting point. We were told it was 2. So this is 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, so if we start to keep track, I'm going to say my first sequence term was 2. My next one was 4. Let's figure out what a sub 3 is. All right, so if we go back through this, right, now I'm plugging in n being 3. So I'm going to put the 3 here and the 3 here. Okay, so this is going to be 3 times a sub 3 minus 1. That's going to be 3 times a sub 2. But we knew a sub 2. Again, if we recurse, right, a sub 2 was 4. So let's go put 3 times 4, and we're going to get 12. Okay. And then I got to keep on going, right? So then I can go to a sub 4, which would be 4 times a sub 3 if we see the pattern. So this is going to be 4 times 12, which is 48, right? And then I can do a sub 5, which is 5 times the previous number. So this is going to be 5 times 48, which is 240, right? And you can start to play this out on your calculator and get all the way up to a sub 10, and it's, it, you can see me playing it out here, right? I, I'm actually finally getting to a sub 10, and I get this pretty large number, 7,257,600, but I do get there eventually. You can also put your calculator into sequence mode, and as long as you define your starting point as a sub 1 equaling 2, you can define your sequence to be n, times the previous sequence, right? The, or the previous term, excuse me. So where we're talking about n times a sub n minus 1, your calculator uses the letter u. So you can see a sub n is n times a sub n minus 1, but they're using u. And then if you go into your table menu, you can actually start to see all the values of your sequence. And we can go all the way over to 10 and get that 7,257,600 number. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.